thank you to all of those who are here to honor my grandfather's 93rd year, the only way we know how, through action. I am the proud granddaughter of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Coretta Scott King. I am also the proud daughter of Martin Luther King III and Andrea Waters King. Although I never got to meet my grandfather, his lessons and drive for justice are in me. Stories about my grandfather's leadership were passed down to me at the dinner table, told to me at bedtime, and shared during long road trips. But most importantly, his lessons are passed down to me and young people across the country during moments in history like this one that call for all of us to work together and take action to correct injustice and advance equality. One important lesson I learned from my grandparents is that no matter how old you are, no matter who you are, all of us can create change when we choose to show up and speak out. I'm speaking especially to the young people here today in Washington who have decided to show up on a Monday morning to speak out and demand their senators protect their future right to vote. Today in 2022, the right to vote is under attack as our elected leaders try to silence our voices. At just 13, I have fewer voting rights than I did the day that I was born. That's why my family has spent this Martin Luther King Jr. weekend mobilizing, first in Phoenix and now in Washington, to demand the President and Senate get voting rights legislation done. Our rights are on the line. And while I, like many of you, am not old enough to vote, this fight is personal for me. It's our future these elected leaders are deciding. It's our voices they are trying to silence because they know our voices are powerful. They may tell us hundreds of times that we're too young to understand, but those who try to undermine our power do so because they know young people will not stand down in the face of injustice. If you, like me, can't vote, just let me tell you about some other ways you can fight for the future right to vote. You can write a letter to Senator Cinema and Senator Manchin. You can call their offices and tell them that you want to see them choose your future over the filibuster, a broken rule that's been used to uphold slavery and segregation and block progress on civil rights. You can talk to your friends and parents about why this matters. You can keep showing up like you showed up today. Fighting for voting rights is about fighting for the right to participate in democracy, a movement my grandfather led many decades ago. But it's, but it's also about all the other issues that affect all of us, climate justice, reproductive justice, LGBTQIA plus justice, and so much more. We will not stop organizing to get this done. But for all the elected leaders out there who are tweeting, posting, and celebrating my grandfather, Dr. King, today, my message to you is simple. Do not celebrate, legislate. The Senate must do the right thing when this legislation comes to a vote tomorrow. Senator Sinema, Senator Manchin, our future hinges on your decision and history will remember what choice you make. So join me in demanding action for today, tomorrow, and generations to come. Thank you.